Here we go again. Thank you so very much for joining me once again. I've got a great one coming your way. You're going to love this one. It's simple to use. We're going to learn how to divide fractions by finding what's called the reciprocal and then multiplying. And some key points before we begin is number one, the word reciprocal means you got to flip the numerator and the denominator. So if I gave you two thirds and I said find the reciprocal, you're going to turn that into three over two, which is pronounced as three halves. That's called the reciprocal. The second thing worth noting is that you got to keep the first fraction the same in all of these equations. You're going to see some examples of that. We don't touch the first fraction, we keep it. Then we have to change the division sign into multiplication. And the third step, these are three steps. This is step one. You got to find, keep the first fraction, and that's step one, keep it. The second step is you got to turn the division sign into a multiplication one. So division becomes multiplication. And the third step is find the reciprocal of the second fraction, the second one only. And then multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, reduce, and you've got your answer. Let's see what that looks like in practice. If I give you two thirds and I say divided by three quarters, the method you saw earlier in the other lesson said find common denominators then just divide the numerators and you've got your answer. That works. You could use that anytime you want. You can also use this strategy, which says keep the first one. So keep it two thirds. Change this one. And we're going to change it to multiplication and find the reciprocal of this guy here. Find the reciprocal. I'll write R for reciprocal. And if you do that, you get four thirds. You flip them around. Now we just have to multiply the numerators. So we'll go ahead and multiply these two. You get eight, and then you multiply the denominators and you've, you've, got, you've got nine, and your answer is eight ninths. That's it. So if you understand this one here, this uh, some teachers call it, um, and I guess I call it too, uh, you call it the keep change change method. It's called keep change and change. Because what essentially we're doing is step one, we've got to keep the first fraction. We keep this one the same. The second step, you have to change this symbol into times. And the third step is you have to change the second fraction into its reciprocal. So keep change, change. Remember that. Let's do some more. Let's do one whole Let's add a mixed fraction. Let's say one whole and two thirds. And we're going to go ahead and divide this guy here by, uh, let's say two holes and three quarters. You know, before you do anything here, you, and, and, and if you're in my class, I stress this all the time, don't do anything until these are improper fractions. And if you want a reminder on how that works, you've got to multiply these two here. So three times one is three and then add it to the numerator. Add the answer, three times one is three, plus two is five. You get five thirds. This is divide. And, and notice I haven't changed anything because I have to turn my mixed fractions first into improper's and then I'll do my keep chain change. So now I'm gonna turn this one here, multiply these, you get eight, plus three more makes 11, 11 over four. Now I can do my keep chain change method. So I'm gonna keep him as five thirds. I'm going to change him into multiplication and I'm going to change him as well into the reciprocal. And now I just go about multiplying five times four is 20. I go three times 11 is 33. And now I ask myself if this can be reduced and then nothing really goes into both of these. So it is in lowest terms and it's not an improper fraction. If it was, I would have to turn it back into a mixed fraction. But right now this, suffices to say that is the right answer is complete. Let's go ahead and do one more. Just for good measure, we'll make sure that we totally understand this. In fact, you might want to pause the video for this. So let's say we have, um, let's go with two thirds. Uh, you know what? Let's say two holes and two thirds divided by one fifth. Go ahead and pause the video and see how well you do. I'm going to keep going now, assuming that you've, you've unpushed the pause button and um, check your answer over right now by 
asking yourself if you turn this into an improper fraction. This would be 3 times 2 plus 2 is 8 over 3 divided by 1 fifth. Now, what you should have done is kept this here the same, changed this into multiplication, and found the reciprocal of this. And now we can go ahead and multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and you see here we have a, an improper fraction. We, we can't really reduce this. Nothing goes into both of these except for one, but we can turn it into a mixed fraction. And how many times does 3 go into 40 to do that? Well, we can go 3 times 12 is 36, 3 times 13, that's 39. So this goes into 40, how many times? 13 whole times. That makes 39, 13 times 3 is 39, plus one more makes the 40, and denominator stays the same. We could check our answer by saying, Multiply these, you get 39 plus one more makes the 40, and you, you, you get that answer back, which means we did it right. We can erase these little marks here and say, aha, we got our answer, and now we have mastered division of fractions using the reciprocal method.